I've always loved and thrived in, you know, surfing in California and kind of getting that feel for, um, even though Morro Bay is not my hometown, you know, it's not too far from Ventura and I just love being in the cold waters. Um, I love the raw element to it, the excitement. I'm so stoked that we have this kind of California series, you know, with Pismo and Moro and, um, it's just, it's super cool. It's funny cause I'm 32 now. So it's really strange. Um, every time to hear like, Oh, Sage is like the older veteran, you know, the experience, there's like a sweetness to that. And then there's also the excitement of this next generation coming up and, um, you know, girls like Sawyer, um, Kira, I mean, there's, there's so many Leilani from Costa. Like I love this, this younger generation and they're surfing so well. And, um, it's really cool for me. I feel like there's like a mentorship in a way. And, you know, I think a lot of people would still be bummed that they're beating me or, and um, I'm really stoked for them to gain that confidence through that experience. And this kind of slow Cal open series is so beautiful. I mean, the California coastline is incredible. Pismo was amazing. And we had some really big surf, which is fun too. You know, Northern Central California is kind of known for that. Um, so I still love the challenge. I love pushing myself and going through equipment and um, that whole process. And it's just, it's so enjoyable. For me, I'm always going to love competing. You know, so much of my life, the majority of what I know now has been dedicated to that. It's been dedicated to, you know, trying to win the QS or now it's considered the Challenger Series to being on tour, to staying on tour. And so there's definitely this mentality shift in where I'm at in life now. I'm really engaged. Um, you know, I am transitioning more out of competing full time, but I'll still always have that love. And so the outlets of Pismo and Morro Bay and these events, like it just makes me so happy and keeps me so stoked. And as a woman, as a female, like I have always desired a family too. And it's hard in, in competitive surfing or any sport because, you know, when we don't compete, um, you know, there's a missing element to it, but there's these other parts of life that I feel that will be fulfilled. And so um, I'm in that kind of stage and period of, um, yeah, less competition, more trips, more travel, more love, like other areas. And I'm just, I'm super stoked about it all. You know, for me, every event that I enter, I want to win. It's never like I'm coming into an event and I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to like surf and have fun. Like I want to win, you know, and at the day of when I commit to something, I'm really committed. Um, I think something that I always kind of look back on or recently it's like I remember when I was 17 and I won the U.S. Open Pro Junior and I was so young and like for me at that time I was heavier you know like a teenager like just um so much going on so many feelings and you know I remember winning that and then going on you know 12 10 or 12 years later to win the U.S. Open for the first time as a world championship tour event and then going on to win it again um, for a second time, it's crazy. Like when you're a Grom, like you, you don't know what you're going to do. Right. And, and there's this cool side of being this age of going like, wow, I had no idea what was to come. And I always encourage like the younger generation, or I want to is like, you know, have a good attitude, be optimistic through every loss, through every win. Cause you know, like you really, every single person can do anything that they want to do. Um, and it takes that hard work and that time put into it. And I promise like all, all the girls, like, like it's going to be worth it. Like surfing, is such a fun life. Like it's such a great culture. It's, you know, there's hardships in it. You lose a lot. Um, but take away those, those little things, like the food places, the people you stay with, like when you can't afford a nice place, like still love, like sleeping on someone's couch. Like you'll look back at those memories and be like, those were so fun and, and so sweet.